Peace and love, family. Okay, uh, this is going to be real quick. This is another ah, hell no nah moment. Did you all know that yesterday, Wednesday, the 24th, that the Federal Reserve System went down? Yeah, it went down. Um, I definitely didn't hear about it on the news. I was so happy to be listening to another uh, YouTuber. And actually, this YouTuber is um, more on the like the celebrity gossip side. And she so happened to mention it. I'm like, what? So I went to check. And sure enough. So here's Bloomberg. Uh, market Fed outage raises question on Wall Street as services are repaired. Uh, Fed website says disruptions were discovered at around 11.15 a.m. For about four hours Wednesday, Federal Reserve Systems that execute millions of financial transactions a day, everything from payroll to tax refunds to interbank transfers were disrupted by what appeared to be some sort of internal glitch. Systems were restored by the end of the day, but the outages once again ra raised questions about the resilience of critical infrastructure that Americans rely on to process payment. The episode follows two significant disruptions to the Fed's payment services that occurred in 2019. It does raise awareness about what their business continuality measures are and what's going on over a single point of failure that doesn't have a lot of redundancies. It's pretty concerning, says David Hart, president of consulting firm NetBank Audit, who was previously a senior bank examiner and IT auditor at the Richmond Fed. All services were restored by 7.27 p.m. New York time, according to a website operated by the central bank. The outages affected the automated clearinghouse system known as the Fed, ACH, and the Fed Wire Funds Interbank Transfer services, Service, as well as several other compromising, uh, comprising sorry, the U.S. payment infrastructure. Operational error. The Federal Reserve operational error resulted in disruption of service in several business lines. Jim Strider, a spokesman for the Richmond Fed, said in an email statement, we are restoring services and are communicating with all Federal Reserve's financial services customers about the status of operations. The Fed System National IT operations are run out of Richmond Reserve Bank. The Central Bank's payment services website noted the disruptions were discovered around 11.15 a.m. and Strader declined to comment on whether they were a result of a system update or human error, but confirmed that the system maintains operations in other locations. Inside financial firms, traders were generally calm still handling transactions. A mood of internal, I'm sorry, a mood of initial confusion subsided as many realized they weren't affected, one said. ACH is a national system that processes batches of electronic funds, transfers such as payroll, social security benefits, tax refunds, corporate payments to vendors, and utility payments, according to the Fed's website. The commercial service handles 62.1 million transactions a day on average in 2019 with an average value of $1,800, the latest year for which the data are available. In a posting on its website at 2.46 p.m., the Fed said it was taking steps to ensure the resilience of its services, but urged customers to double-check that any message they had sent or received had been reconciled. 
Fed now. The disruption comes as the central bank is preparing to take on even more responsibility. It's separate. It's separately developing its own same-day settlement payment system called Fed Now. It is expected to operate in direct competition with an industry-run payment system started in 2017 by an organization of Wall Street banks, including J.P. Morgan Chase and Citigroup. The Fed system has suffered problems before. In 2019, the Fed Wire Interbank Funds Transfer Service went down for about three hours. The Fed blamed the outage on an internal technical issue, but declined to provide more detail. Bloomberg News sought additional information about that incident under the Freedom of, Freed, Freedom of Information Act but the request and a subsequent appeal were denied by the Board of Governors. Okay, so again, uh, this article came out yesterday. Um, this is on, in Bloomberg. Uh, I know CNN also had an article on it. A Fed outage raises questions on Wall Street as services restored. Now, I have been talking to you all for years about how... The reset, the infamous reset that uh, many truthers have been talking about is going to be on several folds. Of course, we talk about the spiritual fold a lot, um, but also it is the financial fold because they are switching a financial system, right? This whole Federal Reserve stuff is going to the wayside. It is going to be transformed. I also informed you all last year that the World Bank met with world leaders around the world and they talked about digital currency. And the Fed Bank, uh, no, I'm sorry, the World Bank said that they are going to go to digital currencies, and that was including the Federal Reserves. I also told you that the U.S. dollar already has a digital dollar. I also told you that when the first um, uh, relief bill came out because of Rona, they initially had in there that the payments would be issued via digital currency. And at the last minute, it was snatched out. So, you know, what you are witnessing, like I told y'all before, is a switch over from the paper currency to a digital currency. The digital currency system is already up and running. From the uh, Fed side as well as the World Bank side, all they're doing is testing it behind the scenes. It's called testing in parallel. So meaning you keep the old system running and you have um, the new system running to, and then you kind of match up the transactions to see if the new system is running correctly. OK, so those that hold uh, digital currency, the public, uh, they're calling it cryptocurrency, uh, the bitcoins, um, et cetera, et cetera, have seen a surge in the value of those digital currencies. Uh, Bitcoin was as high as fifty three thousand dollars per coin. Yeah, 53000 per coin, okay? And you have other digital currencies, uh, the, all of the main digital currencies, because Bitcoin is not the only digital currency. There are others that, are, that will be forefront runners as digital currencies as well. They also have surged in value. You're talking three, four, five hundred percent on their initial value. 
I told you all when the digital currency stuff started getting mainstream that it was not about um, so much the profit on the coins as it was about the technology. I told you all it was about the technology, the blockchain technology, and how they're able to process transactions a heck of a lot more faster than they are currently being processed with more accuracy. So it's only natural and logical for them to move from the slow Fed system that they're on today where some transactions, and especially when you're talking international transactions, can take a couple days, okay, versus a digital transaction and uh, Bitcoin, they are now saying that's even too slow because it can take a couple of hours where the new coins uh, some of the new coins you're talking in a matter of seconds. All right. So what you are witnessing, family, is the switch of currency, of paper currency. And like I have told you all before, anything that happens in the physical has a spiritual component. And this switch from a paper currency to digital currency has to occur for them because of the change in frequency as well. From leaving out of the Pisces age, moving into the Aquarian age. Okay, so they have to have their particular currency try to match what the planet's frequency is about. Okay, and this is also hand in hand with them issuing in the AI technology, etc., etc., because the technology itself is getting an upgrade, right? Like I explained to you all before, many are still on a Windows 95 mindset when the technology has moved on to Windows 10. Okay, so we are literally going from Windows 10 and we're going to jump over into um, <clears throat> the AI realm. All right, so I hope that this helped you, um, you know, pay attention to the financial side. Uh, like I said, there was no mention of this in the mainstream media. I definitely missed it. I so happened to hear it from someone else and had to search for it on the internet to find it. So I wish you well. Everyone have a great day. Peace and love.